What's up, Falcons Nation? NFL fans, it's your boy, Jew, coming at you guys with another NFL breaking news video. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content or NFL content. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter or Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign, Jew Talk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So today in NFL breaking news, the Philadelphia Eagles have traded outside linebacker Hassan Reddick uh, to the New York Jets uh, for a third round pick. Um, this pick could turn into a second round pick depending on how many snaps Hassan Reddick plays with the New York Jets this upcoming season. Um, and depending on how many sacks and things of that nature he gets uh, next season. But this is huge uh, NFL news. Um, as you guys know, the Philadelphia Eagles have been trying to trade Hassan Reddick. He's been on the trading block for the last couple of weeks, and they finally have found a trade partner. Um, I think this is big news because I do believe Hassan Reddick is a huge loss for the Philadelphia Eagles. He has been uh, their best pass rusher over the last couple seasons. And Hassan Reddick is one of those premier pass rushers in the NFL um, he's just now started to become a household name, but he is one of those guys. If you go look over the last five seasons, uh, I believe he's like number five or six in far as total sack numbers. He's had four consecutive seasons uh, with 10 plus sacks. Uh, only him and Miles Garrett uh, have that uh, record of having four consecutive seasons with at least double digit sacks. So I definitely think this is a big news for the New York Jets. Um, the New York Jets have done a great job this offseason of making splash signings. As you guys know, the New York Jets do have one of the better defenses in the NFL. And adding Hassan Reddick is only going to make that defense even more you know, sturdy or more stout. Um, but I definitely think this is hu a huge loss for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, yes, the Philadelphia Eagles did go out and free agency and bring in Bryce Huff who actually ironically played for the New York Jets last season, and he had about 10 sacks. So they did sign uh, Bryce Huff uh, in free agency. And I really feel like the Philadelphia Eagles are trying to get younger uh, on their defensive line. They recently had Fletcher Cox, um, their defensive tackle, uh, retire. And then uh, Brandon Graham is in his last season uh, with the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, the 2024 season will be his last season as well. So I definitely think that the Philadelphia Eagles are trying to get younger on that defensive line. And I be uh, believe that's one of the reasons why they didn't sign or re-sign Hassan Reddick. I do think that this could be a mistake uh, that they didn't re-sign Hassan Reddick because Hassan Reddick is still one of those guys that I think is only about 29 or 30 years old. So he still has... A lot of uh, juice left in the tank. He is one of those guys that is one of the more polished pass rushers in the NFL. And I definitely think that he's one of those guys that is a game wrecker. So I definitely think that this was um, a huge move for the New York Jets. Um, but on the Philadelphia Eagles side of things, we know that they recently have uh, drafted um, a number of guys in the trenches to get younger on that defensive line. They signed or drafted Jordan Davis out of Georgia. They drafted last year Jalen Carter out of Georgia as well that plays that three-tech in that defensive tackle position. And then they also drafted um, young Nolan Smith, who was also an edge rusher. So I really feel like um, this move of Hassan Reddick could also be uh, to help guys, these younger guys, continue to develop uh, like a Nolan Smith because Nolan Smith didn't play a ton of snack, uh, snaps excuse me, last season with the Philadelphia Eagles. So I definitely think that that could be a reason why they decided to move on from Hassan Reddick so they can allow these younger guys that they've drafted to grow and develop. Um, but for the Jets side of things, I definitely think that this is a huge deal for them. I do believe that the New York Jets will possibly sign Hassan Reddick to a big extension as well. Um, but with that being said, you guys give me your thoughts on Hassan Reddick being traded to the New York Jets. Um, yes, I believe that the a lot of our Atlanta Falcons fans and uh, personally myself, we wanted the Falcons to go after Hassan Reddick. But at this point, the Atlanta Falcons just didn't have the cap space to bring in a guy in Hassan Reddick who's looking for a contract extension. And I definitely think just for our Atlanta Falcons fans that this could mean that the Atlanta Falcons are definitely going to go with an edge rusher or a pass rusher in the first round. 
uh, of this upcoming NFL draft. But with that being said, this being your boy, Ju. I have a lot more content coming for you guys. As always, be blessed. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Peace.